Hey guys, welcome back. So I decided to do a video on some haunted mental asylums because who doesn't like a creepy mental asylum, right? So, like I always say, I won't waste your time. Let's get started. 10 of the most haunted mental asylums. At number one, we have the Waverly Hill Sanatorium. This sanatorium was opened in 1910 and closed in 1961. In that time period, 63,000 patients died because of disease and ill treatment. It was originally opened as a hospital to treat TB patients. One of the most famous parts of the building is the body chute. Because it was originally designed to be a transport method for materials, it then turned into a body transporting tunnel because they didn't want the patients or the nurses to see the bodies being transported throughout through the building. Also, one of the famous parts of the building is room 502 where a nurse hung herself and it is said that when you walk into there, you can hear the voice saying, get out. Yeah, you don't have to ask me twice, man. God. At number two, we have the Tranquil Sanatorium. Originally a ranch, but then turned into a hospital to treat as TB patients. Yet again, damn, people were full of TB in those days. It then closed its doors in 1950, only to reopen to be a hospital and a training facility, and then finally closed its doors for done and dusted in 1985. The ghostly reports that come from this building is that orbs are seen floating around the building and temperature, temperature drops as well as spectral figures and that of a nurse that was killed by a patient. Damn. At number three we have the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. In this building it was reported that people that visited the building reported hearing whistling as well as being pushed up against walls Yeesh. and then seeing shadowy figures roaming the halls as well as doors closing by themselves these are just some of the ghostly things you can encounter if you visit this building I wouldn't though being pushed up against the wall damn Bullied enough in school. I don't have to bloody be bullied still by ghosting. Damn, man. At number four, we have the Essex Mountain Sanatorium. People report that when they walk into this building, the sadness, a big sadness falls upon them. And then it's like the building's history just gets knocked onto them. And you feel the sadness of the patients. People report seeing a nurse walking in the corridors as well as hearing footsteps above and below them and then wheelchairs moving from one part of the room to the other. Okay, I'm probably the only one that's crazy enough to do this but if I see a wheelchair moving from one side to the other, I'm gonna jump on and say free ride. Hell yeah! At number five we have the Norwich State Hospital for the Mentally Insane. Now the guards that patrol this building at night report hearing voices of people mumbling as well as screams coming from the building. In the one particular room a woman can be heard screaming. It is also said that even on the warmest of days the rooms that are in this building have a very deep cold feeling to them. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a guard there man. Yeesh. At number 6 we have the ridges. Otherwise known as the Athens Lunatic Asylum, it was a hospital to treat criminal as well as mentally ill patients. One of the most famous hauntings that take place at this building is that of Margaret Chilling, a girl that used to play hide and seek with the nurses and then the one nurse got distracted and never went looking for her. Her body was then found by a maintenance worker a month later. Now they say that her death isn't as mysterious as the image that her body left on the floor and though even though washed it still comes back and appears till this day. At number 7 we have the Sai Ying Pan Psychiatric Hospital. Built in 1892, although it might, might not look like a haunted building, 
the ghostly reports that come from this building is that of the screams of women, spirits haunting the hallways, thunderous sounds coming from the building, as well as on the second floor a devilish man appearing and then bursting into flames. <laughs> Who knew? And there's places that are there too. The only things I can remember that come from that side of the world are... At number 8 we have the Bartonville Mental Hospital. Now people have reported when they walk into the building that they get a very creepy feeling and I guess I would too if I'm walking into a freaking abandoned haunted mental hospital, duh. And then it's also said that there are 15 dif different ghosts in this building. Kinda sounds like something out of a movie doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now. It says that every floor has its own unique ghost and it's also said that people have seen patients walking in their long gowns throughout through the building. It just takes that for me to tip the hell out of the building. But the one of the most of the scariest ones that I heard of is that on the first floor there's a woman that only weird enough women can see her. Um, or it's reported that it's only the woman that will be able to see her because men haven't seen her yet but she has a long white gown pale skin and black black eyes now look i'm sorry but i'm a dude if i saw that i would shit myself six love you're trying to tell me you're a woman and when you see that <coughs> why do i do this to myself now i won't be able to sleep hmm. number nine we have the bayberry mental hospital now it is said that because they didn't have enough funds in this hospital, patients were left naked and sleeping in sewage filled halls and also left hungry. Now, it is also said that there were cells that were used for solitary confinement as well as physical punishment that led to lobotomies as well as electric shock. The place is known as the real life house of horrors. Now legend has it that there is a patient beneath the building in its tunnels and there's a mental ill patient waiting with a big ass knife waiting to slit the throat of anyone he encounters. Jeez that sounds a lot like the game Outlast don't you think? <laughs> yeah. At number 10 we have the Penhurst Mental Asylum. Opened in 1908 it is said that the patients were chained to the walls, children were kept in cribs for many 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 years as well as numerous murders took place here. EVP sessions have proven that the place is haunted with the voices that come out of these EVP sessions say get out, I'll kill you as well as help me. Other activity that takes place is objects being thrown around the building, equipment being moved around as well as people being touched. Yeah, touch me and I'm gone. Like, yeah. Gone. You ain't gonna catch me, man. Kiss my ass. You ain't catching me. Mm -mm. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I was scared to bits looking for this stuff. It's really creepy. Go and check these places out for yourself if you have to. It's really some creepy shit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave comments. And then I'll see you guys next time. Well, next Friday. <laughs> with a brand new video. Cheers.